All right. Good afternoon. My name is Paula Rapidu, and I am a DD Council member from the Nysonger Center at The Ohio State University. And I'm going to talk with you this afternoon about customer satisfaction. Uh, to give you a little background, the DD Act of 2000 required each state council of DD to submit an annual report to the Department of Health and Human Services on consumer satisfaction with council supported uh, or conducted activities. The Ohio DD Council requires an annual consumer satisfaction survey to gather this information. Currently, Nysonger Center, one of Ohio's University Centers for Excellence in Developmental Disabilities, completes the survey for Council. Why do we measure satisfaction? Well, the purpose of the satisfaction survey is, first of all, to be in compliance with the DD Act. To, secondly, to provide information to Council to assist with the state plan implementation. Third, to satisfy the Office of Management and Budget and Government Performance and Results Act requirements. Fourth, to provide information to plan for systems change. And fifth, to document the effectiveness of Council. Survey formats. There are two survey formats. The first one is the individual format that determines satisfaction from the perspective of the individual with a developmental disability, a family member, and others directly involved in council activities. Second format is the stakeholder format. This format determines council systemic impact through responses from stakeholders, including self-advocacy organizations, state advocacy organizations, providers, centers for independent living, state agencies, legislators, poly policy makers, and others. How do we do the survey? The survey can be conducted using a variety of methods, whichever works best for the individuals or the stakeholders. So we could use a paper survey. We've done focus groups, telephone calls, personal interviews, conference calls, and online surveys. Now in the last couple of years since the COVID pandemic, we have relied almost exclusively on paper surveys or online service surveys. So although other survey methods are available, it's um, as everything in life has been affected by COVID. Grantees may choose which method and how many to use when conducting the survey. Uh, and that decision about which method and how many to use can be discussed with the um, DD Council staff person to come up with what you think is the best strategy. We want to use the methods that will allow you to reach the largest amount of people possible. And again, this is a discussion you can have with your DD Council staff. How do we get started? Um, so the first thing that you will do when your grant is chosen for it to be surveyed is determine which survey format is most appropriate for participants in your grant activities, individual or stakeholder. You may decide to use both formats and distribute each to different sets of participants. Next, we decide which survey method you will use to contact survey participants. Then we create a survey plan that includes a timeline for distributing the survey and for get it, collecting the responses. We allow time for follow up communications with participants between the initial distribution and your collection deadline. Once your data is collected, um, we will put your data on the AIDD report format form and submit that to DD Council staff. Survey tips. When contacting participants, you'll need to be able to explain the purpose of the survey and why people are being asked to participate. If we're using a paper form that we want returned, 
will include self-addressed prepaid envelopes when we send the, sur the survey out via postal mail. We plan in-person paper distribution around events or group meetings rather than just creating a, a meeting for the survey. And we use a neutral interviewer for face to face and telephone interviews, so there's less of a chance for responses to be given based upon what the individual may think the responses should be. We want to know what the, the responder is thinking. Collecting and reporting results. When you finish collecting surveys, separate separate stakeholder from individual survey responses. We'll note the number of complete versus incomplete surveys for each of those formats. We record and compile results, keeping responses to each question grouped together. And then we report using a reporting format. Additional documents you will need. So you will need a copy of the consumer satisfaction survey, the stakeholder satisfaction survey, and the reporting format. And those you should be able to get from your DD Council staff. Questions. The Ohio DD Council staff in charge of your grant can help with specific how-to questions. But feel free to contact me if you have general questions about completing your survey and reporting the results. And there's my email, paularabadu at osumc.edu. Or you can call the um, DD Council or visit the website um, to get answers to your questions. <laughs>